Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dave from Otaku, and today I'm gonna to make a quick video about how to edit your Anki cards. Cool, so I've had this question a lot of times and uh, I decided to just make a quick video about it. Um, basically, today we're going to learn how to edit our Anki cards so that we can make them look the way we want them to. Cool, so right now I'm in the test profile and I've just uploaded this deck for Good Morning Call, which is a drama. Um, and we are going to edit this uh, deck to make it look the way we want it to. The reason why this might be important is because maybe you want to switch around fields on your cards, maybe you want to make sure that there's audio on the front or on the back, or maybe you're doing a kanji deck and you want to put the kanji on the front and the keyword on the back, or vice versa, you want to put the keyword on the front and the kanji on the back and you just want to move things around. Learning how to edit your Anki cards can be a really important tool in your arsenal to be able to just go in there and do things yourself instead of being stuck with what you're given. Cool. So if I go to my browser right here, um, and I select the deck that I want to use on the side, right? Right now there's only one deck in this whole thing, but you can use current deck, you can use the default deck, good morning call is this one, right? But all your decks that you'll have will be listed on the side here in this little panel. I'm gonna go ahead and click good morning call and you'll notice that um, all the cards will show up in your browser for that deck uh, right here in this viewing pane, right? And then underneath you'll see all the fields for that individual card that you're looking at, right? So we've got the sequence marker, we've got audio, we've got snapshot, there's one for video here, there's one for the expression, the meeting, the reading, notes and kanji and focus and focus vocab, right? You could have any number of uh, different fields um, for yourself. And if you wanted to edit the name of those fields, add fields or delete fields, you can by just clicking this fields button. And then you can see all the fields that are related to that card type. Now, warning, if you delete any fields in here, it's going to delete it not just for one card, but literally every card you have. And it's going to delete the information that's in that field. So if there's something that you delete, you can't get it back without reloading the whole deck. So that's just your you know, fair warning. But say you wanted to use Morph Man um, and you needed to add a focus field, this is how you would do it, right? So right next to that fields button, there's also the cards button. And in this cards button, uh, you'll notice that it shows you a view of the front of your card, a view of the back of your card, and it will give you a couple of different fields over here, right? So you have the front template, you have the styling, and then you have the back template. For any of you who know any amount of coding at all, or you just like very basic stuff, these two fields are basically HTML, and this styling template is basically CSS. Um, basically, you could edit these to make the card look and act the way you want it to. So sometimes you'll see really, really fancy Anki card templates out there. The way they've done it, <coughs> excuse me, is by editing the front template, the back template, and the styling field using HTML and CSS to make it look the way they want to. And you can absolutely do this too, right? Um, but the most basic part of this is just understanding how um, these fields are, the text that's in here react to the fields that you have. So let's go ahead and literally take all of this and delete it. Now there's nothing on the front of my card, right? Here's the front of my card. Um, there's this little close for Urigana tool uh, code that I left in here because I can't retype that and I don't wanna have to put that back in. Um, but just to show you how this all works, um, whatever you want on the front of your card, all you need to do is to put it in brackets, right? Oh, excuse me, I'm in Japanese, um, is to put it in brackets. So it's gonna show up as brackets right here. Anything you put on the front of your card in the template is gonna to react here onto your front view. And this is how all your cards are gonna look, right? So if you mess with this and you mess things around, um, <laughs> you can really screw up your cards if you're not careful. But what do we want on the front of this card? So if we go back here and we look at our browser and we say, okay, well, I definitely want the snapshot on the front of my card. I like having pictures in the front of my cards, right? And I definitely want expression on the front of my card, right? Um, but I don't want the reading or the meeting um, or the audio on the front of my card. So I can go back to my card section and then I can go into here and I can type in snapshot, right? And of course, you need to make sure that um, your uh, uppercase and lowercase and your spaces and all that stuff are correct, right? Because if you, I typed in snapshot right now with lowercase, snapshot, right? It's gonna still say unknown field snapshot. It knows that I'm trying to find a field because I put these two little brackets here, but you still have to spell the field correctly. And it's actually not that, it's this. Now it's showing me the image, right? And then underneath that, say I want to have my expression. I would just do the same thing. And now the expression is showing up, right? You'll notice once again that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over COVID guys. Uh, you'll notice that if I mistype it, um, it's gonna say, Oh, unknown field, expressio, or whatever that's gonna be. So you gotta make sure I type it properly. 
Now, you might notice that there is um, a lot of code around some of these other things. And basically what this is, is this is a little bit more advanced HTML, not advanced at all, but if you don't know any HTML, then it can be a little bit more annoying, right? But um, maybe a basic thing you should know is how to do a text break. All you're gonna do is put in um, BR right there. And basically that just adds the space in between that picture and this, the expression. As opposed to if I take it out, you can see that it would get closer. <laughs> not, maybe not in this instance. But if you wanted to add in text breaks to put spacing in, you can. Now, <coughs> basically all you need to do is put on the front of your card what you want on the front of your card, right? If you want a snapshot, great. If you want expression, great. And then you put on the back of your card what you want on the back of your card. Now you'll notice that right here it says in those same brackets front side. That's because I like to have the front side of my card on my back side of my card, right? And then there's this little line break here, which is just this uh, a bit of code that's right here, this no shade ID was answered. Um, so on the back of my card though, you'll see that I have my reading done with Furigana. Um, if you're using the Migaku um, Japanese add-on and you're adding on your Furigana uh, with out using the old Japanese support add-on, um, you're using theirs, then you won't necessarily have to do this line, but this is an important thing to note, right? So uh, you'll notice that in this pane, it says the reading, right? Which is my reading field. Um, and then it says Furigana right before it. Uh, that is because this is the older way of doing this, um, where you use the old Japanese support add-on and that will put on the Furigana above the fields, right? But basically, you would look at the back of your card and you would say, what do I want on the back of my card? And basically do the same exact thing over where you would have the snapshot field, right? If you wanted to put the snapshot on the front, you put it there, right? If you wanted to also have the snapshot on the back, which I don't know why you would do that if you'd already done in, um, your front side template as well, but you could, right? So say I want audio, right? Um, right here, I have my audio field. Say I want the meeting field, right? Have my meeting field there, my focus field, my notes field. Anything that you want to put on the card on the back is going to be the same exact thing, right? So basically, if I took all of this and just deleted all this stuff here, I'm going to leave the, once again, I'm going to leave that other information. Um, I can say, okay, what do I want on the front of my card? Well, I want snapshot. I want my expression. On the back, I know that I want uh, front side of the card, right? There's the front side, right? Um, I know that I want the reading, I know I want the meaning. I know I want the audio. Right, and then you'll see that my reading came out wrong, right? Well, that's because, like I said, I'm using um, the old uh, Japanese support add-on, so I need to make sure that I put in the proper code for this. So that's just furigana, and then a colon, and now it comes out properly, right? Cool. And then if I needed to put spacing between all of this stuff, I can do, once again, just put those little line breaks in there, the BRs, right? And now you'll see that I have the front side of my card right here, and then the back side of my card. And then if I wanted to, I could just put in that little bit of code that would give me that hard line that said, okay, that's the hide the answer, show this portion. Um, and then if there was anything in my expression or in my like meaning field, here, I'll prove it to you real quick. So I'll type, just type something randomly in the meaning field. And then I'll type uh, something randomly in the notes field so that you can see that they're actually showing up. I click on cards. Oh, cool. So I didn't include the notes field. So maybe I want the notes field, right? So. And it'll write what is ever is in those fields and print them on your card. So in the situation that you were trying to switch around like a kanji card, um, there is the option to uh, just switch around the code from one side to the other, but then you're gonna have to do some cleanup, right? So like say you were doing a kanji card and you were trying to switch around the um, 
English on the front to put the English on the back, your keyword, right? And then put the um, character on the front. Then basically all you would need to do is look at your own card setup, right? The cards that you actually have and look at what fields you want to be on the front and what fields you want to be on the back and switch them just like that. Um, the last little bit of this, I'm not going to go into too much depth, um, but I'll talk real quick about this area. This is basically a CSS styling uh, field. Basically what it allows you to do is to pick the, uh, you know, like the fonts that you want and the size of the font and the alignment of things. You can to pick colors. It can let you, you know, put like rounding on pictures like I do have here. It can allow you to do a whole number of things. Um, for instance, typically what I would have um, is I don't have my meaning and notes um, shown. I have it so that I have to hover over them so that it'll show me the field. Um, but basically you can do any number of things that you could do like on a website inside your Anki cards. Now, the more and more code that you put on there, the more and more time it might take your Anki cards to load up. But personally, I put in a pretty good amount of code on my cards and I've never had any issue with it. So it can handle a good amount as long as your computer or your phone or whatever you're using to rep can handle that information. Cool. So I'm also going to have a bunch of information leading to some HTML and CSS um, links that are going to be in the description. So if you want to learn a bit more about HTML or CSS and you can learn a little bit more what you can do to your cards, that's great. But basically having a very minimal amount of knowledge can get you really far away in Anki. So even just being able to do this and to um, copy and paste those fields that you have in there um, can allow you to change a lot on your cards. Um, so be careful when changing your cards. Uh, the computer is only going to do exactly what you tell it to do. Um, so if you don't tell it that you want this field, or if you tell this field that you want it to be, you know, I don't know, weird in some way, then that's what your computer is going to do. So just be careful when you're editing your cards. Um, and if you need help, you know, maybe get on Discord and ask some people for some help there. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. Later.